Let's get some bullets. Uh, let's go get this item. Let's get it. Old hunter gloves. Okay, I'll take it. I'll check it out. Take it out. I'll take it out. The old hunter gloves. Hmm. Actually, pretty good. And it has, it has increased frenzy resist. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to just go straight through here or if I want to go. Well, we gotta go. Up. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to learn how to. That was a blunderbuss. Die, fool! Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, it does look like they are fairly easy to, uh. to, to counter. I need help from people. Anybody have an Xbox? I don't have an Xbox, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, dude, it's, it seems like people were um, very happy to help with a bunch of different games um, last time we were running through Dark Souls and when we were running through Bloodborne. So if you need any help, definitely feel free to ask. Oh, oh, do we get the cape as well? I didn't even notice. Wait, is... Old Hunter Cab, not cape! I misread completely. I misread completely. Is it any good? It is kind of good. It has it has less physical defense. Though to be honest, I really like the black hood. It's pretty cool. Although this is also pretty cool. Well, okay. Um, I guess <laughs> I guess we'll wear this for a bit. That is badass looking. We look cool, chat. We look so cool. Yeah, uh, Kizlon, when I found with the Nameless King, and the, the biggest trick that helped me beat him was that... Let me do the Yard Gear is my favorite. It's pretty... Yeah, the Yard Gear is cool. It is. It's really cool. Um, oh, the Nameless King. Yeah. The thing that helped me beat the Nameless King was, like, figuring out that, especially in the second phase, his attacks have a much longer delay than uh, the rest... Pretty much every other enemy in the entire game. Um, which makes timing it really weird, especially when you're used to battling all the rest of the enemies. So if you can learn to wait, like, half a second after you would normally expect to dodge, it can really help in beating the Nameless King. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a very odd change-up from what the rest of, rest of the dodging patterns in the game are. But honestly, kind of a refreshing one. I like change-ups like that. Alright, let's keep going. The Yard Gear. It's really cool looking. I just, I really like the idea of having a helmet in side of the hood. It's so tricky. Kind of embodies the whole trick weapon thing, I feel like, of the game. It's like, this is just a normal cane. This is just a normal hood. It's completely normal, trust me. Whoa, dogs, of course, get them off me. Oh, I hate dogs, I hate them. I don't really hate them, but... Oh, this is a big place. There's a lot of these guys. Whoa! Oh god. Ah! Whoa! What the hell just hit me? I'm gonna die. That's what hit me. This idiot shot me. They have some cool weapons, though. And luckily, we didn't have too many things. We need to make sure we take this methodically. We don't want to be... Uh, we really don't want to be um, just running around like that, landing on random enemies that we haven't noticed. It's a cool place, though. And all the mobs are very interesting looking. It's like they're the mobs from the beginning, just like actual hunters instead of just, like, wimpy shitbags. Yeah, they have that blur effect. I, I did note that actually. I was wondering. I, I didn't know if it was just from that guy or for the from the other guy as well. But it was pretty damn cool. So that's gonna be the shortcut we open up from the other side. Let's let him kill those. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. We have the old hunter's bone. It's just the old hunter's bone only lasts 15 seconds and is garbage because it lasts not very long. But it is cool. Huh. 
I've always really hated the blunderbusses. Like, really, really hated them. Okay, so it looks like we can farm better upgrades here, which I feel like pretty characteristic of DLCs in general. Uh, but it looks Pog Chan, it does. It, <laughs> it does look sick as hell, I agree. It is mo I will say that it is mostly for the looks. It costs too much, though. If it costs one, I would totally use it all the time. One bullet, but it costs like a bajillion. No, it costs like three, right? Four! It co that is way too many for that. They should have nerfed that a long time ago. I mean, uh, lowered that amount, I feel like. But also, if it costs one, it might be super broken, so I don't, I don't know. What was I looking for? Oh, the blood gym. That's right. Let me, let me check out what this blood gym is. Radiant Damp Blood Gym. Reduces stamina cost and adds... Wow, that's a lot of 4% reduction. That's crazy. You know what else really keyed us into beating the daughter of a Brutus? That stamina, that stamina difference. That was a huge difference. Uh, how much damage we could do in, in one cycle. We were doing, all, I think, almost 2k in one cycle. These dudes are so afraid of me. Is that because they've been around the hunters the whole time and they're trying to hide? What's up with that? That's very interesting. Those mobs no like used to just attack us, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, what if these are the normal villagers? Like, this is what we've been killing the entire time and then they've totally converted. That'd be awesome. Remember the beast and old yarn with the machine gun. The beasts with the machine gun. Kind of? The one on the rooftop? That one? I do remember that guy. Wait, no. With the machine gun? I thought only the ones in the wheelchairs had machine guns. Those monsters you're fighting being the beast. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh. Thanks for the help, buddy. Dude, they have some cool ass weapons, man. What? That shit is like some Monster Hunter weapon. weapons are badass. They're super cool. Something really cool to know is that you can take the back way to the tower and walk to Dura, the guy at the tower. Take the back way to the tower and walk to Dura, the guy. You mean the guy with the machine gun? Is that who you're talking about? You can talk to me and explain? Really? Oh, that's cool. I definitely want to go do that. Nope. Eat it, yes! But that's in like the old Yarnum village, right? I did kill him. I murdered him in cold blood because he was an asshole and he was trying to kill me the entire time. What do you mean? Did I? 
Who would not kill that guy? <laughs> Who would not kill him? Oh, and he does explain that the former villagers, much like I just referenced, hell yeah! Good, that feels good. I'm glad I'm right. <laughs> it always feels good to be right, you know? Dura isn't an asshole. He was shooting at me. Or was this a different guy? Isn't Dura the one who was, like, murdering me with a Gatlin gun? So you teleported the lander behind him. If you don't fight him, then walk to him and he will kill. And he will talk to you. But only if we don't fight him. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know what makes someone an asshole if trying to murder someone with a giant Gatlin gun doesn't make them an asshole. That was a trap. That's cool. That's actually the first gun trap we've seen. Yes, he's protecting the bees, aka the village. That's true. He is nice, I guess. In that sense. He was just protecting the people, which are all these little monsters running around, right? That all the hunters are trying to kill. Which is where where you came from. Yeah, absolutely. There are lore implications. There are lots of lore implications. And I, and I would love to hear about them once we beat the game. Because I, I, I'm starting to get kind of an inkling of an idea of what the lore implications are. I think we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Which is pretty nifty. The blood, like Gascona references, it has... It and has beast tank. Yeah, I mean, we've already read stuff that says every hunter will be consumed by beasthood, right? Like, uh, where is this thing? Oh, it's right here. It's not here. Where is it? There it is. This right here, the Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter. Its people have collapsed and turned to mush, indicating onset of scourge with beasts. A hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to have taken by the nightmare, destined to wander forever. So I guess we got taken by the nightmare. Um, engage in the endless hunt. It is a fate that no hunter can escape. So every hunter that uses blood will be killed by that or whatever. Once you beat this, will you stream New Game Plus Kissholm? I would say it's probably unlikely because there's a lot of new games coming down the pipe that we're going to be playing. Um, but maybe at some point. I, I would say that I'm much more likely to play New Game Plus of Neo or Dark Souls 3 on stream than... Uh, But what are you healing with? I know, that's what I'm saying! We're healing with blood! So therefore, we must be turning into a beast just like them. And that's why I was saying we went to the nightmare. And that's why ever since I read that, I was like, we're definitely a beast. Okay, Mount Man, have fun with the DLC, and I'll see you later. Good night, Zach! Good talking to you again, man. Enjoy your night, and thank you for stopping by. I will see you later. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And have a great one, seriously. More blood vials? Cool, 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 cool. There was an enemy right over there that I kind of want to kill real quick. There he is! You stupid, stupid... Yes! But you get for killing me, you idiot! Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> that is all I needed to make na make this this night even better. It is really cool seeing this whole area just overcome by these... Like, what is this shit, by the way? What is this weird, crazy-looking garbage that's all over the place? These, this, like, these tentacles of stone. It's really weird. Oh, It's so sad that I have to murder them. They're just so helpless and they're hiding and we know they're just normal people. They're just defenseless normal people. Now those things are not though. These are the true assholes of the game.
Look, they are corpses and covered in cloth. Oh, really? Oh, that is disgusting. Goodbye. Good sir. And then petrified? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. So all of the villagers are actually protecting themselves the entire time from me. They're not evil. I'm actually kind of evil. Uh, especially since maybe... And what, I, cause what I'm kind of thinking is the hunters and the church and all them are what brought on the Scourge of the Beast in the first, pa in the first place. Oh, we can jump over that. Oh, we actually might be able to get up there like this. <laughs> we can! We are totally not supposed to get up there like that. I think we're supposed to fall down from there, but it's pretty funny that we can just roll up that. And in order to fix what we've done, we're trying to uh, murder everybody and kill all the beasts that are becoming. And on top of that, everyone who's a hunter is also becoming a beast because they're still exposed to the scourge, probably. And in using blood, they're only accentuating how beastly they're becoming. Or something like that. That worked well. Bear in mind your character's from out of town! You woke up here. Oh, that's true. I did forget about that. Fair point, fair point. No, get back here! Holy Jesus! Hmm. Let's go get this item real quick. Oh! Sh shit, man. Let's try it. Not a boss. Let's try pairing him. Oh, wait, what? Huh. Dude, that is insane. What if we can just... Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I think that is. And no, not only that, but he's doing. He, I think the buff was a da mainly a damage buff. Except they have a lot more. Uh, They have a lot more health than those guys did. Comparatively. Oh! That killed him! Oh, you know why that killed him? That killed him because of the, the damage that, like, uh, does the counter damage. Um, the damage that was killing us the entire time against the Daughter of the Cosmos. Molotov, perfect. It did, like, three times the amount of damage because he was mid-attack when we hit him. That is a freaky looking dude, man. That guy was crazy. Oh, it's the chapel. We're in it! We're in the chapel. Is there gonna be, uh... Is she dead? I feel like this is gonna suck. Let's try it. Gotta give it at least a couple goes. We don't have a lot of time. That is a beast. So let's go ahead and switch out the fire paper real quick. If we have any, we do. That looks like 
That looks like the, the thing we already killed, actually. The lady. Only there's a throne here now. Whoa, she's on fire. Jesus, dude. And there's an item. I gotta die. I feel like I'm gonna die. I pinned it. Oh, wait. Is that gonna let me go? Yeah, no. Oh, oh, it's not, it is the cleric beast. I thought it was, I thought it was that lady who was in here initially that turned into the, the beast. But yeah, you're right, that looks a lot more like the cleric beast. A lot more like the cleric beast. I pinned it. Unlocks the surgery altar. I pinned it which unlocks the surgery altar. There are two cathedrals in the hunter's dream. One lies past the river of blood and the other contains the private research hall of the healing church. Huh. Only chosen members of the healing church or their lamentable patients can enter the research hall using this eye. Grant's eye. To, okay, so we can now go to the surgery hall, which is somewhere. You know that item your character touched in the main gate, or the main game at this area? Yeah, the thing that like made me flash back and all that shit, that giant skull of that, I'm guessing? It was like another cleric beast? I do remember that, actually. I remember that vividly. And then that gave us the passcode to the other area. Huh. So now we can go somewhere that we couldn't go earlier. I don't want to pray at a lantern until we find another lantern, because I don't want to battle that asshole again. Both old hunters. Ah, interesting. And that was an old hunter. I thought it was only one person. I didn't realize it was two people. Ah, ah, there's a, uh, there's a pathway here. Wait, what the hell? When did there... Was there always a giant hole right there? Did I just... Did I just miss that, or...? <laughs> I think I just completely missed that, which is kind of hilarious. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, God, this bullshit again. We can break these. Good, 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 good. Hello, demons. What's up? How are you? And welcome back. There's always been a hole there. I just completely missed it. Oh, look at that. That is the face of uh, of those of the amygdala. That's an amygdala. They killed them all. That is some cool shit. This is a cool DLC. What's up, demons? Welcome back, man. I am doing great. Starting to drag a little bit. We're getting really close to the end of the stream here. Uh, we're probably going to get to a lantern and then probably call it. Uh, we beat the daughter of the uh, Cosmos. Barely. It was amazing. You were here for some of that, right? When we were fighting the daughter. It was some good shit. Some really good shit. We just beat him, actually. Yeah, there it is. Beavers has got it. And we also... Uh, have beaten every boss in the game, I think, except for in the DLCs and the final boss. So, we're making it. We're making it. You were! That's right! So you remember the struggle. Or there now. We beat it. Um, how, uh, how have you been? How have you been, demons? What? That was a successful parry. I call bullshit! <laughs> Range! The range is mine. And you're dead. Oh! Please, please tell me that was a sharpening gem. Um. What you been up to, demons? How's life, man? Temp. Ah! Uh, it's a tempering damp blood gem. That's not what I wanted. I want a sharpening blood gem. 